The Phil Taylor Power 9.5 Generation 9 barrels by Target Darts as a part of their 2022 launch, created and designed in collaboration with the 16-time world champ Mr. Taylor himself as per usual, resulting in a 95% tungsten barrel. The packaging is always pretty neat with Target, but this is next level. It's a picture mosaic, so tiny little pictures of Phil were used to create a giant Phil face. So that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go to a close close-up look of the barrels, and then we'll shoot these bad boys. Starting in the front, we have something new for Phil Taylor, a nano Swiss point to match the aesthetic of the front section. Previous generations came with a diamond Swiss point, but we've switched it up this year to match the chrome nano section in the very front. Then we've got some milling leading up to the center with this interrupted ring cut. You've got small little axial cuts here for better grip reference point. In the rear, this shape, this whole pattern section is called Squircle, like the shape of the apps on your phone. So you, you know, it's the intermediate between squares and circles. So it's called Squircle and the whole thing is coated with black PVD for performance and texture. Just like last year, Target did some milling at the bottom of the shaft for added grip and a seamless look. So keep in mind this section right there, it's not actually a part of the barrel. It's the beginning of the shaft. Overall, we give this barrel a grip intensity of two and a half out of five. And the steel and soft tip versions are nearly identical, except the nose profile, of course, and the soft tip version coming with the target pixel tip. Okay, I feel warmed up. Let's do some throwing action. I'll start by gripping in the center, interrupted ring cut. It's um, basically the widest diameter section of this barrel. Felt, felt, felt pretty good, um, landed flat, impacted the board nice and flat. I'll try gripping in the rear and into the squircles. Darn it. It feels just as good releasing the dart, but I'm further away from the weight of that super front loaded. So let's tr let's try into the nano grip in the very front of the bomber shape. I just don't I don't think I'll be able to throw it. Or form my grip quickly. As expected, there's a bit of drag. I just can't quite get that flight pattern that I like. Let's just do one more for good measure. I'm gonna hold in the center. That's where I would choose because you're right behind that super bomber shape. You're right behind the weight of the dart and you can have the most control of your take back and release. That definitely feels best to me. I'm just gonna stick with that for the rest of this shooting portion. Let's go for some bullseyes. Give me one more chance, guys. I know I can get all three in there. These just carry their weight into the board so easily. Let's switch to the 19s. Um, and the reason Phil likes that classic bomber shape, by the way, is because of his grip profile. An excellent read is Daxman is the proper way to grip a dart and how that should guide your barrel choice in terms of shape and cuts. In a nutshell, Phil likes a bomber shape and a smoother grip on his darts because he has a really closed in grip hold on the dart. A lot of skin comes into contact with it.
Let's finish up on doubles. We'll go for a 32 out. I'm gonna to continue to grip in the center. I just think that's the place to be right before that bulbous section. Inside double eight. There she is. Well, that about wraps up throwing action. Honestly, target could really do anything and get complacent and put, you know, very little effort into slapping Phil Taylor's name onto a normal looking dart and kind of expect it to be popular and it would be. But instead each year, you know, I really think that they do seem to put a lot of effort into creating an interesting looking barrel that is different to the market. It does throw very well. It's more limited in terms of grip options for different types of throwing mechanics. Um, but for me, I do have a closed three finger hold, so it's easy to kind of adapt to the way that Phil throws. And then just, I normally grip in the rear, so instead I just move that down to the center. Like I said earlier on those bulls especially, the dart just carries right to the board. There's a lot of weight behind it. And that bomber shape is kind of um, responsible for that. I've always sh shot with a straight long barrel, and it's, it's kind of interesting to see how little effort goes into the release impact of this just carrying its way. As long as I can open up my hand quickly, and it's nice with the less grip being a two and a half out of five for grip intensity, and I have smooth hands, so it works for me. Um, but yes, excellent milling. It's different. It's different every year with the same key elements that are important to fill. So hats off to Target for trying. <laughs> And that concludes the close-up breakdown of the Phil Taylor Generation 9 range. You can purchase these barrels on our website, a to zdarts.com. Just click the links in the description. If you like the jersey I was wearing in this video, you can custom order one for yourself through our apparel website, magicwear.com. It represents our live streaming company, USA Darts. If you're looking to watch the biggest soft tip and steel tip events throughout the country, we travel all across the United States and cover those live. So go to usadarts.live to follow our live stream streaming schedule, or just give us a like and follow on Facebook and YouTube. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this review and the rest of the Target 2022 launch. Thanks for watching.